Well, Shando, as Andrew Lawrence is on to the state tennis tournament after a runner-up finish in singles action here in districts today. Uh, Andrew, a long day, but but you're headed back to state. What are the thoughts? Uh, I'm just happy to go back to state because I worked very hard this year, and I'm glad I could do it with Nathan. Yeah, uh, you mentioned Nathan Brown of Clarinda. Mm -hmm. You guys were in the same spot last year. You've had some battles this year. I mm -hmm. think it was 1-1 coming into today. So speak to that matchup and maybe, for lack of a better word, the, the rivalry. Uh, so Nathan and I, we know each other pretty well. And we play with each other in league and stuff. And yeah, we like to talk to each other a lot. So we're pretty close. And he knows my game and I know his game. But he got the best of me today. What did you maybe learn from today? Uh, never give up because I was down uh, by five in the first set for against John Reynoldson and then I came back at one seven five and then went on to go to say after the second set. Yeah, as you mentioned that, that semifinal, the first set, you were, you were down early, five nothing. Uh, what clicked? What changed? Uh, well, I do better when people get cramps because last year the kid got cramps, but uh, I just focused on my game and yeah, I did well. What do you feel you did well today? Uh, playing in the point and never giving up. Now you get ready to go to state uh, again yeah. after going last year. So do you come into this year with a better idea of what to expect? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I think I at least want to get one win, you know, like I did last year. And then maybe place, but yeah. What does it mean for you to, to get back to state? Oh, it means everything because I really wanted this. I knew it was going to be hard, but... Yeah, I'm pretty pumped. Well, Clarence does Nathan Brown, the district champion, on to the state tournament here after a, a long day of play in Red Oak. Uh, Nathan, you're headed back to state. What are the thoughts? What does that mean to you to be able to do that? It means a lot. I mean, I worked all season, off season for it, really hard, going into Red Oak every day, every other day, just training. You got there last year. Uh, I don't want to say it was a surprise, but the way you played towards the end of the season was definitely showing to, to your growth. But did you come into this season with the expectation to, to be back here in the same spot? Uh, yeah, but at the same time, I needed to be humble and remember that <laughs> other opponents got good as well over the off season. So. You had another battle with Andrew Lawrence uh, of Shenandoah. I think third time this year you guys were in this spot last year. Uh, speak to that matchup. Probably not a lot of secrets. Uh, no, he's a really good player. I mean, very. He just hits everything back like a backboard, and I had to overcome that, especially over the tiredness as well. Yeah, uh, you win the first set. He battles back, wins the second set. Where were you mentally going into that third set? Uh, well, I went back in here for a 10 minute break because of the heat, and my coaches reminded me how hard I worked for this and how hard I did, or how much I earned it earn it and so I had to go finish it. What do you feel you did well in that third set that led to the win? Uh, I hit some line shots, cross court shots, moved them around well and went up to the net more and finished there. To get back to state, uh, now you go into it for a second time. Do you have a better idea of you know what to expect when you get there? I do. I uh, <clears throat> analyze other players up there and how they hit and what they do differently from down here and so I can conquer them a little bit easier. Looking ahead to state uh, like 12 days from now or something like that, w what kind of goals do you have? What do you want to accomplish? Uh, I want to make it to the second day at least and uh, see what we can do from there.